What is up, Bold Nation, and welcome to another Elden Ring video. One of the highest asked questions I get, I'm gonna pop it right now on the screen, is Laser, where, do you, where did you get the Lazuli sword? And, and he, they even put, I searched Google and it has no answer, but luckily for you guys, your boy Laser Boy has the answer for you guys. Now, I believe I'm the first person to discover where you actually get the sword. So if you guys are going to go ahead and make the video on YouTube, I would appreciate it if you guys gave me some credit, show me some love. That would be greatly appreciated. If you guys enjoy what we're doing here on the channel, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, hit us with that like so we can get that algorithm going. Anyways, how do you get the sword? I'm going to tell you guys exactly where you need to go, what you need to do in order to get it. But let's take a look at the sword. And this sword, to me personally, has got to be the best magic sword available. Now, I currently have not found any other sword that you cast magic with and still use it as a fighting weapon now if there is another sword like that let me know in the comment section down below me personally i have not been able to actually find one now i've been able to upgrade this to level six i still need to level it up because i do want to get it to str uh intellect s i don't have it that yet but i do have it at strength uh, d and intellect d so you guys can get a better idea how many times you're probably going to have to level up this sword to actually make it really op this is at level 6, but I still think I need to level it up just a little bit more. Now, as you guys notice here, the physical attack does increase a little bit. The magic also increases a little bit when you level it up. But the main bread and butter here is you want to make sure you have a weapon that is going to allow you to cast uh, your magic and also use it like a weapon. So this is going to be perfect for anybody that wants to do magic tricks and also have a sword in hand. And it's also going to be handy for anybody that wants to go ahead and you know use magic while they're playing as a melee character so really really good sword uh, as far as attack power it's pretty powerful pretty powerful magic just the attribute scaling is a little bit eh. i'm gonna show you guys exactly what this sword uh what this sword drops like so you guys can get a better reference idea of what it will look like when you pick it up now i reason i the reason i have two of these is because i wanted to make sure that the farm worked so i was able to re replicate it and it didn't work so there you guys have it I'll show you guys that it actually works now that is what we have now as far as guard damage it's pretty i mean it's not like a big boost that you get from guard damage compared to what we have now because i believe it scales up to 31 so it's not a big boost but you do get the attribute scaling as you guys see still at level six it still hasn't gone up in um in attribute scaling so you're probably gonna have to level up this even further to actually get it to where you want to want to have it now it does come with attribute requirements which is going to be strength eighth and into like 13 those are really easy to obtainable so you shouldn't really have a problem with this one now let's talk about the uh the weapon in general so the jet weapon in general guys it's really really good because you're going to be able to do this and that you can even do this and you can even you know hit that hard combo but it's going to allow you to do this as well so you're going to be able to cast magic as, as, as well now i don't know if you're able to cast more magic i just know it does that one now one thing i did learn about that one you have to be a little bit relatively close to the enemy to be able to get some damage done for them to be able to take that damage now where do you get this sword well, you're going to want to come to this location right here which is the schoolhouse classroom which is going to be located in this section of the map let me go ahead and zoom out real quick and it's going to be right here so you're going to be located right here now before you actually do this guys i'm going to give you a quick tip i'm going to give you this tip right here you're going to want to make sure you go to your item crafting and actually you're going to want to make sure you go to inventory and check if you have this thing called silver pickled foul foot now you're able to actually craft this i forgot exactly what it's required to actually craft this but you could craft this stuff or find it within the environment and this is going to temporarily boost the item discoverability this is going to last until you actually rest at one of these site of grace so i'm going to put it here see if i can get another one to drop here live on stream still i'm going to show you me actually obtaining it when i actually got it to drop but we're going to put pop one of these bad boys i want to use this real quick so when we use that that's going to increase our discoverability i don't know if they stack up but now that we have that in effect let's talk about how you get the weapon so within this corridor guys there are a total of two types of sorceries. You have one that has the uh, like royal blue and red uh, lining coming down their you know down their cape, and there's the other one that has the same robe that I have. The guy that actually drops the weapon is the guy that has the robe that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and target him. If for some reason we can't get him, that's that guy right there. We want to make sure we get him and take him out as quickly as possible. Hopefully he drops it. Let's see if he drops it for us. He's gonna 
one drop it there. You have to look for the other one that actually has it. So these two don't have it. The way I was farming it is I was actually killing both of them. But if you guys feel like you're going to have trouble killing these guys, what I would suggest is maybe just backing out and then coming back in and then doing it that way. We're going to kill those dudes now. We're going to approach them real quick. Right there. So these guys are not dropping nothing. We're going to try to go up here real quick because I believe there's one more that has this type of ropes up here. If not, then you're going to have to just come back and uh, rinse and repeat. So we're going to go back to the side of grace and you're going to notice that within the side of grace, we're going to have that thing to spawn and we won't be able to actually get it again. So we'll go back down here. I really wish my character ran faster, you know? I mean, I feel like I'm so slow when running with him. So we're going to sit in the left side of grace. Let the time spend. I don't, you know, I do. Do I still keep it? Okay, so I didn't rest, so I do still keep it. And there he is again. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Now, I kind of keep up on that one. Okay, so he's dead. He didn't drop nothing for us again. And we just rinse and repeat over and over until we actually get it to drop. It takes a little bit of time to actually get it dropped, so just keep grinding, guys. It took me, it took me quite a while, quite a couple runs. But once you guys get it down, you should be good to go. Let's see if we can actually backstab him. Still nothing to drop. Okay. And he's still not dropping nothing for us. Come on, boy. Don't do me like that. Alright, let's try it one more time here. Okay, here we go. Alright, so here we spawn back in. He should be over here. Alright, let's try it here. And come on. Come on, drop something for my boy. Alright, so last time guys, we're going to do it one more time. Hopefully we get the drop to actually happen. Here we go. Here we go. So let's try it one more time guys hopefully this is it this is it boys hopefully this is it come on okay there we go we actually got a drop now we actually got a drop let me just kill these two <coughs> all right so there you guys have it there he did drop it after that kill guys let's go ahead we took care of those other two guys let's see what we got and there you guys got it the luzio glitstone sword with the luzio ropes and we are good to go